so first session is about running plasma while shell on your uh, system so uh, i see first question from no in the chat uh, the question is do i need to be using a valent plasma test session to run plasma while the window uh, so no uh, you don't need to run a valent session in fact uh, right now my demo will show it running inside X, inside x11 session so no that's not necessary um, so running plasma mobile shell on your system is useful when you want to work on cell design or you want to work on various shell interaction patterns or application launchers or something things like or various bits like that uh, there are multiple ways to actually run plasma mobile on your desktop uh, so uh, one thing you can do is uh, use existing package packages on your distribution uh, another method is using KDE source build and build the build the packages on your system and then build the packages in your system in the prefix and then use them to use them to run a plasma mobile shell. Also you can use the KDE Neon based ISO as well as post market OS FMOM image. There are various resources I have linked in this presentation. So the first is uh, developer guide of the Plasma Wild documentation, which shows the which shows which shows the two different method of running uh, kidding neon based ISOs and also running uh, uh, post market OS based FEMU image. They are fed, uh, nicely documented in in the documentation. So I won't be covering those here, but still if you have any questions feel free to reach out in plasma mobile metrics room uh, so uh, there is a so first i will be uh, demoing the method of uh, using kd source build uh, the whole process of setting up kd source build is quite long to be covered in one single session However, the however the wiki page uh, wiki page does show it. Uh, uh, wiki page linked here shows the whole process. Uh, I will be showing my configuration and how it is uh, configured on my system. All right. So, I have this uh, it is source build rc file in my home directory. I have this kd tier set to op kd, uh, qt tier set to also op kd. You may, if you are using custom Qt, you may want to set it to something where you have installed your Qt file. So you can set it to, let's say, op Qt file. But I also have my Qt file in op KD, so I have set it to this. Uh, source directory is where you want to have all your source directories. So in my case, it's a uh, KD source source where I have all the repositories which are all the KDE repositories clone. Build directory is where your builds are and log directories uh, 
where you can find various locks like uh, you can check various locks like you can check uh, git clone lock git and uh, installation log build log and various operations log so there is also this options which I use for my convenience is ignore KD structure. Uh, the reason I am using this is uh, this makes uh, this allows me to have the, all the repositories in single directory, which is like KD source, KD source, and slash source, instead of uh, everything being in being according to KDE's uh, repo structure, which is not, which is actually not flagged. I want to have proper control over my, over how, which dependencies are built and which dependencies are not built. So I do include dependencies false. This options. So this options which are like in include dependencies uh, you can turn on if you are if you want to hand let KDE source build handle all of the dependencies but since I have some dependencies installed from uh, system packages and some dependencies built manually myself I set it to false I have set it, up, set it up to use Ninja instead of Make and there are CMake options which I set and Make options and Prefix. Then you can also include some configuration files to include a module. So I install frameworks and Plasma workspace. I can also set some specific CMake options for some specific repositories like for Plasma network management. I said deep build mobile is equal to true. Once this is all set up, uh, generally what you do is basically run KD source build. So once you run KD source build like this, it will build everything and install it to your selected locations for example in my case it's a off key where everything is installed i will stop this process here because uh, that this process can take long with uh, about 135 packages so uh, so for, for running Plasma Mobile on your system, there are two essential packages which are most important, which is uh, Plasma Nano and Plasma Phone Components. These two packages, uh, so Plasma Nano is uh, basically minimal shell package uh, based on which Plasma Mobile shell is. I just to make sure that everything is uh, in order, I have run PD source build with uh, two argument which is like Plasma Nano and Plasma Phone Components and it has compiled them and installed it. Uh, so the next thing is you want to uh, run these things. Uh, so for the for running this uh, in your system there are some important uh, environment variables which are plus plasma underscore default shell which allows me to shell uh, switch uh, switch to for phone shell by default that is uh, to tweak controls mobile is equal to true or tweak 
controls mobile is equal to one uh kit quick controls underscore style is equal to plasma and cute underscore valent disable window decoration one and plasma platform so plasma platform environment variable is used for shell to shell and setting applications and various other application to see on which platform it is running there are some keys supported here like uh, desktop tablet it is he and also this this is not exclusive list so you can even say plasma platform is equal to toaster and various bits like widget explorer put filter uh, widgets which are which can be run on let's say toaster so here we want to run, run plus want to filter everything which is in phone and handheld devices so we uh, export it to phone all on handheld so once this uh, environment variables are installed there is one more thing so recently plasma workspace started to install uh, started to allow you to install this uh, configuration files which you which you can install in for example in your prefix and uh, using those you can start it from stdm um, start sessions from stdm um, one of the things which the script installs is uh, uh, this convenience script which is called uh, plasma dash dev prefix it sets up some environment variables which are um, which are useful for running uh, running the various programs installed inside the prefix so what I am going to do is in the terminal where I had ex uh, exported the plasma mobile related uh, environment variables I am going to be doing uh, sourcing the script so it sets up uh, so those environment variables properly like you can see here it sets up opkd pin as the path um, now I'm going to run this command which is uh, run session queen valent uh, I will specify some height and width so that it's a uh, more like uh, mobile instead of uh, desktop actually let me uh, remove these options for for this one so you can see how it looks um, so we have this given valent x valent and then we have exit with session which allows me to which basically uh, kills the x uh, queen valent when plasma shell exits this helps me uh, for easier debugging and cleaning up. So I'm going to run the, this one, and here you can see that it starts the Plasma Mobile shell. You can start various applications like like Calendary, and you can test it out. Now let me add the height and width uh, argument so you can also see it here so with height and width uh, with argument you can see that it is now it is now looking just as the mobile and you can 
essentially use it as you want to as you would be using your mobile shell you can close windows and so in general this is uh, very simple so another options which I wanted to cover was using existing packages on your distribution so there are some distributions currently uh, I know that there is uh, Manjaro and there is a uh, KDE Neon table and stable as well as Alpine Linux which packages the Plasma mobile shell on Uh, plasma mobile shell so we will be using the uh, those packages in a similar method to 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 run the mobile shell so um, okay so I have this uh, KDE Neon tab unstable virtual machine here and uh, I'm running it inside uh, using KVM uh, KVM allows me to choose the hardware acceleration so it is actually usable for uh, testing valent based session which is requirement for running Plasma Mobile so what I will be doing is I will basically install plasma phone okay let me maximize this so it's actually readable so installing the plasma phone components and this will install all the dependencies which are re required for Plasma Mobile. Uh, there is one more package which I I don't really install on my own desktop but since this is uh, virtual machine I will install it anyway so plasma phone settings installs some um, some mobile specific uh, options which uh, mobile specific options and configuration like uh, there is this uh, queen rc which disables the window decorations and sets the window to maximize by default also disables some uh, some effect uh, effects which are not optimal for mobile devices and will also disable the left and right each swipe which is actually uh, which you can which is actually annoying on the mobile devices so once I have installed those three pack those two packages uh, which are plasma phone components and plasma phone settings what I will do is uh, I can do this in uh, two way there are two different ways so first is uh, very similar to what I did earlier like I can do plasma default shell so to the plasma Good quick controls style is with plasma 
export kit this one I have this for it so okay so export kit trailing disable window decoration button one and pop up left on uh so well uh what you generally can do is put this in one script file and you can uh, that source it every time you want to actually use the plasma mobile shell for some reason my virtual machine is broken so I'm going to just okay and after that instead of uh, doing uh, sourcing the environment variable um, sourcing the environment variable which was installed in prefix what you can do is basically just run deepest run session win valent x valent height is equal to That's weird. Ah, so I don't have when they know. Back and epsilon. So I did not have the uh, X11 backend which would allow me to run Queen inside X11 so I had to install that. After that the height and width uh, options would be available. Um, so so once you have so similarly you can run the plasma mobile shell which was uh, which I did run on my actual desktop system uh, another way of doing this is directly logging in mobile session so once you install the plasma mobile related packages what you can do is log out of your session this actually change it to that's interesting okay uh, right okay so this will Uh, so uh, this was one of the side effect of uh, reinstalling Plasma phone settings package. It had switched our look and feel package to mobile, which meant that uh, uh, logout window did not actually had a logout option. So that's why I had to move it out of way uh, to actually demo how this. Uh, I will actually move it back to where it was
so after that you can select plasma mobile valent session from from the, your stdm screen and enter your password and log into your system which will start uh, normal plasma mobile session uh, here you can see that uh, it has installed the same cell package you can install various for example you can install kirigami gallery and uh, and you can run kirigami gallery which will something is broken in my system which which is why Kirikami Gallery is not starting okay so for some reason my uh, packaging is broken which is why I need to manually install So you can try the Kirikami gallery this way. I see that it has got uh, very recently new design thanks to Carson Black in the chat. Here you can use various cell functions like application drawer or Or top menu drawer and things like that uh, so back to the presentation uh, so there is a question in chat which asks if uh, we can si uh, set the VM to a phone size dimension so in my experience uh, virtual machine manager can do some of this but then it's uh, then anything which is non desktop resolution is broken in very very weird ways so i would i i have i haven't had many much success with it um, so it is in theory possible but then it is not usable at all so uh, as for KDE Neon based ISOs and using post market OS Gremo images, I have linked them in uh, resources sections of Slideshow. I will be uploading slides uh, later and linking them as well. So you can try that those using that, uh, that those two links. Uh, the one is uh, files are direct link to Kadini on ISO and the second is Kremu post market OS based Kremu right so now that you have seen that I have shown you at least four different options so uh, you you would say that uh, these are too many options and which options I would actually select so each options have its own uh, its own, own pro and cons like for example if you are using uh, plasma mobile shell on your desktop system using Quintwell and um, x11 backend you can manually sh you can very easily iterate upon the design and you can also like you can directly deploy it from deploy the new paste version from your, your ID and quickly restart it 
uh, so if you are working on developing the running it directly inside your system instead of running it inside virtual machine is much easier if you want to taste uh, not a, just not just shell package but everything like for example like for example if you need to taste uh, uh, other shell functions then other other shell functions then you uh, probably the virtual machine is the better options so it really depends on which part you want to work on and how is your workflow um, one important thing to need not is you don't actually need the shell to test applications for example i can uh, i can show you starting applications without shell packages um, it's a basically very same method i used to It's a basically very same method I, I use for shell package, except that uh, there are less environment variables. So, for example, I can start with uh, sourcing the tail prefix because my all of my applications are installed inside. Uh, um, so basically, I will be. Uh, sourcing the prefix file um, after sourcing the prefix file what i will do is uh, export the qtpic controls style is equal to plasma and qtpic controls mobile is equal to true which basically makes uh, which basically switches to qtpic controls to style which we are using on plasma mobile and also set uh, tells to pick controls that we are now on the mobile on the mobile um, after that I will basically start uh, one of the applications which is uh, quizmeet so here you can see how it uh, would behave on on for example on mobile and I can show you it on side by side that uh, it will look like this on the desktop so here you can see that uh, there is two different styles and two different uh, User, inter uh, user interaction methods so basically for testing applications you don't actually need the whole whole shell and you can test individual applications like uh, how it would look on mobile or how it would function on mobile uh, okay so I see a uh, question that uh, could we maybe have KDE in your custom Docker image? Uh, so Docker, so Docker is sometimes not actually useful for running the whole system. While you can use it, in my experience, Docker does not provide. Uh, Docker is designed to be used for running uh, single applications or single program rather than running whole system so in my in my experience the docker is designed to run a not designed to run a GUI applications and also there are some problems uh, with the integration with docker so I would very much recommend using the virtual machine rather than the Docker. Um, as for the IO show, I have linked uh, new Neon ISOs. I should probably change website to the uh, point to newer location. Uh, 
there is question that are this pre-configured with Plasma Mobile or the, are they pre like pre-configured for development? So uh, the ISO for Kiri Neon is pre-configured for just running Plasma Mobile uh, and not exactly development environment, but but it should not be hard to convert it to to actual development. You can very easily enable the source, uh, Debian source repositories, and install various development packages. Any other questions? <laughs>